He ruined my life. The world is an amazing place, filled with amazing things and beautiful creatures. This is where the Cubans spend their time, in their natural habitat. This particular creature is popular among the Cuban Kingdom. He has obtained several respectable times in his Cuban career, including five national records. He particularly enjoys pyramids, a triangular shaped twisty puzzle, and he's exceptional in several other events. Everyone turned a blind eye in the first several years of his Cuban career, although some people are now taking notice. However, you may believe that his miraculous times are legitimate. Or are they? This is his birthplace, born in the Great Pyramid of Giza. He lived there for seven years, and he met many acquaintances along the way. One of them was his Cuban sensei, who taught him everything he knows now. Let's hear what he has to say. So, how did you first meet him? I was just past math tutor for two years, only teaching him the Pythagoras theorem. And how did you introduce him to Cuban? Well, two weeks after first meeting him, I watched a very Zemdex video and I was like, damn. It inspired me to learn the pyramids and thought Jasper might be intrigued. I then taught him everything I knew, including L4E and pseudo -Vs. Did you notice any strange behavior? He was acting quite zuhors, not gonna lie. So what are your thoughts on what he has become? I never would have expected him to become what he has now. To cheat so blatantly and waste everything I had taught him. It makes me want to hide in the pyramids. There are some fairly obvious examples of his illegal solving techniques. One of them, for example, would be having someone else solve for him. Watch this next clip carefully and try to figure out what's odd about it. Did you miss it? Have another look. Yes. That is a skew puzzle, not a pyraminx. Don't be easily fooled. That's what he wants. This is a ploy to appeal to a wider demographic. In this video, it's to appeal to the skew creatures. As everybody knows by now, Jasper enjoys gathering innocent people in his basement and forcing them to do solves for hours on end so that he can post them online passing them as his own. Here today we have one of his victims. He does not wish to reveal his name or face, as this incident has affected him harshly. My name is Dwayne Ramos, and I'm here today to share my experience as one of the victims of Jasper's illegitimate video operations. It all started back in 2017, when I was simply an exchange student in the Philippines. I remember that night, when we first met, it's dark, it's rainy, nothing more to it, I guess. It's very similar to the environment that he would put us into to do his solves for him. It all started when I applied for a New Zealand passport. I was eating a hamburger. I distinctly remember every single bite I took of it. I remember two onions stacked on top of each other like Jenga. The sauce drizzled on 
bonds are sin, Patty. The bonds. <laughs> They've been puffed and huge. <laughs> like multi-term consumable balloons. Edible balloons. <sighs> Made me sick to my stomach. Why did you do this to me? Why? It was at that very moment, at that very moment, that I decided to become. Can you please tell us how Jasper affected you? Uh, I can never even cube again after, after what he did to me. Like, he he ruined my life! So what did Jasper do? What didn't he do? He ruined my life. What do you expect? Can you go into more detail? <sighs> he, he just ruined my life, okay? Are you exaggerating when you said that you couldn't cube again? I... 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 Ne never again. He ruined my life! I think that was pretty f***ing good, bro. I'm good at this.